Hey guys, today we're going to update to Monterey 12.7.4. We're going to mount our EFI partition that has open core on it, which is currently 0.9.8. Martin Lowe's package. We're using Max Schrauber's Mount EFI partition app, which now comes in Martin Lowe's open core package. And that scans all your EFIs and then makes it really easy to find which one has your open core install. And as you can see, the second one from the top there says open core Martin Lowe. It even shows you the version. So we're going to mount that and then we're going to open it and go to our OC folder and open our config plist to make our VMM flag modifications. Uh, security preferences can get in the way of this. You just have to say open anyway. Sometimes you got to put your password in there. I use BB Edit as the software to do my config plist changes. And the first change we make is C Puid one mask. We change the A to a C. So it looks identical to the line above it. And then we'll move on to update SM BIOS. We're going to change true to false. Make sure to save your two changes and then reboot. So now that we are rebooted, we're going to go to software update and we'll see that our update under more info shows us we have Monterey 12.7.4 and Safari. I like to just install Monterey 12.7.4 first and then install Safari after it's installed. And as you can see, there's a lot of security fixes in this update. And as long as Apple's going to keep sending these out, you should keep updating. So we're going to install the update. It's going to download it, prepare it, and then it will reboot. And after it reboots, it's going to first reboot into the installer and you don't have to touch it. Open core will automatically select the installer in the boot picker and then it will reboot again and then it'll boot into Mac OS, but then it's still doing things. And if it looks like you're stuck, don't worry about it. Sometimes it looks like it's just stuck in a certain spot, but just let the installer do its thing. And after three reboots total, you will be updated to the new version of Monterey. And then we want to go back and reset our config plist. And the easiest way to do that is to go use McShrauber's tool again to mount the EFI that has open core on it. And then we're just going to drag the original open core config plist that came with 0.9.8 never use an older config plist always use the same version that came with Martin Lowe's package and if you made modifications for some reason to your config plist you will have to do those again or just open the config plist on the EFI and manually change the settings back from the way we did it in the beginning of the video but the easy way to do it is just drag over the config plist and hit replace and you're done. And now your Mac will be running at full speed again. Uh, you do need to do this to get your Mac running at full speed and then reboot and you're finished. And as you can see, I'm now on 12.7.4 and I've been using it for a day and uh, no issues whatsoever. And I also updated Safari. And keep in mind, you can update to Sonoma, but you have to use OpenCore Legacy Patcher. You cannot use Martin Lowe's OpenCore package. But if you want the closest to native experience with Mac OS, Martin Lowe's package is the way to go. OpenCore Legacy Patcher does a lot of patching to get your old computer to run in Sonoma. And while it's very cool, I believe that you're better off in sticking with Monterey and Martin Lowe's package, which is built specifically for the 5,1. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up. It helps me out. And I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.